Hey guys, it's Shy of the Shy Narwhal. In the early 1990s, PBS launched their Ready to Learn project. The intention of this project was to provide entertainment and education. This led to the launch of the PBS Children's Education Block, which at the time was titled PTV in July of 1994. In 1999, the block was rebranded to PBS Kids, which I'm sure most of those watching are more familiar with. Despite having cable as a kid, I remember watching PBS Kids a lot when I was younger. I'm always going to associate PBS Kids with the road trips my family and I would go on. We would drive for 10 hours a day, we'd stop at a hotel, and the next morning when we were getting ready to leave again, my parents would always put on PBS Kids for me and my younger sister. Ever since I started doing Lost Media videos, I've gotten quite a few requests to cover Lost PBS Kids Media, so I'm finally going to do it. Here is three pieces of Lost PBS Kids Media. Let's get into it. Would a pizza play if a pizza played a song? Would it plink? Would it do? Would it drip like a magic feet? Would it moan? Croon? Hmm. Would it tinkle a tinkly tinkle? Charlie Horse Music Pizza was a live action puppet show that ran for two seasons from 1998 to 1999. Serving as a spin off to the Lamb Chops play along, the show centered around a pizzeria hosted by Sherry Lewis and included familiar characters from the original show along with five new puppets. Although the show was short-lived, it continued to air reruns on PBS throughout the year 2000, and aired on PBJ, another American children's television network, until its closure in 2016. The show itself only had 23 episodes produced. Unfortunately, only three episodes of season two were made due to Sherry Lewis passing away from cancer in 1998. Charlie Horse Music Pizza is pretty obscure, as nine out of the 23 episodes are lost, while an additional one is only partially found. Similar to A Little Curious, I find it strange that such a large portion of a show is lost, even though there were reruns playing on television up until just five years ago. The list of lost episodes is on the screen if you're interested. Want to see something that's really cool? It's the PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch! This boy is small. Seven monsters and all. A raccoon that likes school. A dancing horse. Way cool. Four shows, two hours, one place. PBS Kids. Because of its ready to learn initiative, PBS Kids always made an effort to encourage children to go to their local library and spend time reading. This effort was shown through Reading Rainbow, Arthur, where they would always encourage children to check out Arthur books at their library, and The Bookworm Bunch. The Bookworm Bunch was a block that ran on the weekends on PBS Kids from 2000 to 2004. In an attempt to target the preschool demographic, the block ran for three hours on Saturday mornings and would feature characters from popular children's picture books. In the first year of the block, shows Corduroy and Elliot Moose would be featured until early 2001. In its remaining years on air, Corduroy and Elliot Moose were removed from the lineup until the block's cancellation in 2004. Bumpers for what is described as season one of the block, which lasted from 2000 to 2001, are really hard to come by. TV bumpers are usually the most prone to becoming lost because there really isn't much of an effort made by the channels airing them to keep them preserved in any way. While the chances of finding all the missing bumpers are pretty slim, I think it's pretty likely that more will be found here and there over time. Dragon Tales was an animated Canadian-American educational show that ran for three seasons from 1999 to 2005. The show took place in a fantasy setting where our main characters, Emmy and Max, go on adventures with their friends in Dragonland. When talking to those who grew up with PBS kids, this show seems to be a common childhood favorite among late 90s and early 2000s kids. The show was one of the more successful ones that ran on PBS kids, with reruns playing until 2010. There supposedly is a pilot episode of the show that never aired. There is very little information on said pilot, but the segments of this episode were titled One Step for Cassie and Circle of Friends. One Step for Cassie was a space episode where the main characters would land on the moon, and Circle of Friends was centered around Max trying to learn how to draw circles. 
As I said previously, there is very little information about this pilot, so I'm not sure if it was a pitched pilot, or if it was planned to air, or even if it exists. If anyone knows something that I wasn't able to find with my research, please feel free to share down in the comments below. So that's pretty much it for this week's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on Lost and Obscure Media. If you have any suggestions for future videos, feel free to email them to me at theshynarwal at gmail.com or comment them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!